Most people have seen the viral clip of a driver and a passenger sleeping behind the wheel of a Tesla while the car keeps cruising. It almost looks futuristic, like science fiction becoming reality. But what really happens if you fall asleep in a Tesla with full self-driving turn on? This isn't just about drifting off during a boring commute. What if something worse happens? What if you have a sudden health emergency, like a seizure or aneurysm, and you lose control before you can safely stop the car? Let's look at the real life scenarios, what Tesla's systems are designed to do, and what actually happens when you're no longer in control. Understanding Tesla Autopilot and FSD. First, we need to understand what Tesla's full self-driving actually is. Despite the name, Tesla's Autopilot and FSD are not fully autonomous systems. They're classified as level two driver assistance technologies. That means they can help with steering, accelerating, braking, and even changing lanes. But a human driver is still required to pay attention at all times. Tesla even uses a cabin facing camera to make sure your eyes are on the road and your hands are near the wheel. What happens if you fall asleep? So what happens if you fall asleep while FSD is active? Reddit and other popular forums are full of stories from drivers who admit they dozed off or tried to test the system. According to users, the vehicle starts by flashing visual warnings. If you don't respond, it moves on to loud, audible alerts. If you still don't react, the car begins to slow down and will eventually come to a stop. In earlier software versions, that stop might happen right in the middle of the road, which obviously isn't ideal. But with newer versions, particularly FSD Beta 12, the car may try to pull off to the shoulder and park safely. Medical emergencies and what Tesla might do. Now imagine this. You're driving with FSD active and suddenly you suffer an aneurysm or a seizure. Not just fatigue or drowsiness, but something truly abrupt. What happens then? This is where things get serious. Tesla's camera system can detect on movement and posture. If your head slumps or you stop moving, the car will escalate its alerts. If there's still no response, it applies the brakes and comes to a controlled stop, 036-038. Some builds are now testing the ability to pull off the road completely and turn on hazard lights, 251 to 257. There's even speculation that future updates may allow Tesla to call emergency services if it detects a total lack of response for an extended time. These features are still evolving, but the system is clearly designed with these edge cases in mind. As one Reddit user put it, if you can sleep through that alarm, there's probably a medical emergency going on. System escalation, step by step. This is how Tesla handles inattentiveness, whether it's from sleep or a medical issue. Step one, you remove pressure from the wheel. After about 30 seconds, the car flashes a blue warning. Step two, you continue ignoring it. It beeps loudly and displays a red hands-on warning. Step three, if your eyes aren't on the road and your hands still aren't detected, the cabin camera takes over. Step four, after multiple ignored alerts, FSD disengages and the car begins to slow down. Final step, the vehicle comes to a stop. In newer versions, it tries to move to the side of the road and activates the hazard lights. Tesla does not currently have health detection, like a driver pulse monitor. But between steering inputs and the camera, the system does a pretty decent job of noticing when something's not right. Can you trick the system? Some drivers have tried to outsmart the system. They've used small weights on the wheel to fake hand presence or even worn sunglasses to hide their movement. Tesla has caught on. New updates are far more aggressive, relying less on steering input and more on your actual face. Tesla has even suspended autopilot access for users caught misusing the feature. In one high-profile case, a driver was filmed asleep behind the wheel and the car didn't respond well. He was pulled over and fined, with Tesla disabling his FSD access afterward. The legal and moral reality. Let's be clear, falling asleep while driving, even with FSD enabled, is still illegal in most places. Tesla requires you to remain in control of the car at all times. If you're found unconscious behind the wheel, you can face charges for reckless driving. And in a worst case scenario, if a crash occurs, you could be held criminally liable. Tesla has never advertised FSD as a hands-free 
no responsibility system. It's meant to help, not replace the driver. Real life Reddit experiences. Reddit threads tell us that the system works in most sleep situations. One person said they nodded off on a long drive and their Tesla quickly alerted them with loud sounds. Another wrote that the vehicle had slowed down and stopped because they ignored too many prompts. It scared them, but also proved that the system was watching out for them. Another user pointed out that the car doesn't panic. It slows down methodically and safely. However, it's not perfect. In heavy traffic, stopping in the middle of the road could still be dangerous. This is why Tesla is constantly refining its software to include safer pullover maneuvers and possibly even medical emergency detection in the future. Key takeaways and final thoughts. So what happens when you fall asleep in a Tesla? The short answer is, the car tries to save you. It warns you, it watches you. And if you don't respond, it takes over, slowing down, pulling over and stopping. But here's the bigger picture. Whether you're simply tired, where you're suddenly hit with a medical emergency, Tesla systems are trying to create a safety net. It's not perfect, and it doesn't replace human awareness. But it's better than any traditional vehicle, and it's evolving fast. If you're wondering whether FSD can replace you entirely as a driver, the answer is still no. But if you're looking for a vehicle that can buy you a few precious seconds in a life-threatening situation, Tesla is further along than most. So stay safe, stay alert, and if you drive with FSD, remember, it's here to help, not take over. If you enjoyed this video, like, share, and subscribe for more deep dives into EV tech and Tesla safety features. And in the comments, let us know, would you trust your Tesla to save your life if you passed out behind the wheel?